How's it going guys? So today we're going to be talking all about Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. So if you just stumbled upon our channel, I'm Lacey and... Justin. Justin. <laughs> and we have three kids and we live in Idaho, we like to travel and we love Disney. And we have stayed at the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa and we absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. Like absolutely loved it. So one of our favorite hotels we've ever stayed at, so we thought we would share just all about the highlights and details of what makes it so great. So we're gonna start from the very beginning and that's when you first pull up to the Grand Hotel, right? And so we pull up kind of like to the, the entry gate, if you will. Mm -hmm. We uh, let them know what our names were and the first thing that came out of her mouth was this, we've been expecting you. And I don't know what it was, but just hearing those words made me feel at home, made me feel so much more excited about the vacation. Yeah. I don't really understand why it was, but I was like, this is gonna be a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, you know, we got situated, we drove in this case, we had all of our luggage like in our car and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and can I just say, we had a lot of stuff. Lot of we stuff. were, you know, road tripping with kids and they had the best bellhop people in the world. Like, oh my gosh. He, he was so sweet. He even was like helping me think through things. He's like, do you want to take this out of your his car? Do you want to take this Tim. out? Oh, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember his okay. name. But he helped us. He got even like Disney, um, you know, the bags that they get in the park when you buy something and put stuff in there that we wanted to bring in because we needed like more yeah. bags. Guys, our, 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 they were I mean, amazing. driving from Idaho to California, our car was trashed. Like <laughs> the stuff was everywhere. And so we had to like, get all the stuff, you know, and he was helping every step of the way it mm -hmm. blew me away yeah so right from the start like we already just felt like you know when you get somewhere and you're just kind of getting your feet wet we already felt comfortable they made us feel like relax we're here to help and that's what I absolutely loved because I didn't feel stressed at all and this was just like perfect timing but we also had a Walmart delivery show up as well so we mm -hmm. kind of like had a few like groceries and things like that that we wanted to have in our room and when we were unloading our car uh, the guy from the Walmart delivery is like, hey, I'm here with your groceries. And I looked to the left and he was right there with all my bags. And so we were able to put all of that um, with all of our luggage as well. Yeah. And Tim, uh, he took all that up as, as well with yeah. us for us. And it was just like so cool. And it was really sweet because there's things that need to be refrigerated. So they even made sure like those item and items got set aside yep. and they could keep those cold until we could get yeah, I remember all that, of our like, stuff what needs to be refrigerated yeah, yeah. And he, that mm -hmm. was really cool so just like attention to detail for sure like in the very beginning of yeah. all of this so then after that we didn't have to worry about any of our luggage and we walked right into these big magnificent amazing doors mm -hmm. that just takes your breath away because right when those open up it's just fantastic but then it opens up to the amazing lobby so then we went and we checked in um, and fun fact if you are in concierge level if you have the club level you don't actually have to stand in line in the lobby you can actually go up to the sixth floor and get all checked in there just so you guys know if you are club level but in this case we weren't club level and so we were just checking in and uh, the process was just perfect yeah so the line was kind of long so I was like, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, get in line and we have two kids, but it's so nice because they have like a little TV for kids and like little rocking chairs. So they were yeah. like set. So I was like, cool, they can watch that and I'll wait in line because it was a busy time, but they were loving it. And it was just, I mean, just standing in the lobby alone. I was just looking around. It's so big and so beautiful and it's just, I just... That's my favorite part is their lobby. Like yeah. I could hang out there and we did. And we did. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. And it's just so nice because the lobby, it just feels so homey. They have a piano and it's always playing music and just, you know, the best Disney tunes. And they have a little area of like cold, refreshing water. Super classy, but super mm -hmm. like Disney classy. Right. Um, and it was, yeah, it was, the vibes were, were strong. Yes. And so after the whole process, we then went up to our our room mm -hmm. and again customer service was 100 percent the whole time <laughs> then we went up and checked out our rooms they've renovated them since um they opened so they have a new design with like the pull out bed and a little bambi mural in the back is so cute and a little chip and dale um just things ar around the room are super cool but that's a little disney touches yeah little disney touches here and there but it's not like too much it still has that like feel of like California and they've got like the orange um, trees and all of that so the rooms are super cool they've got space under the beds for your luggage which is really nice so they're up nice and high the, va the, got... va the vanity is separate from like the shower mm -hmm. which is really nice and there's it's, it's a double vanity yep which is great mm -hmm. so that helps with like 
you know, a bigger family to be yeah. able to, everyone can get ready in the morning. And, and I love that. There's a nice little stool right. for the kids already <laughs> ready to go. They have a whole like nook area where we kind of kept all of our, our groceries, like our uh -huh. waters and our, our kind of like to, to go snacks kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, granola bars, granola like bar. that. Mm -hmm. um, coffee maker, which I, the coffee wasn't that great in, in those, to be honest. Like I'm not really big on like Keurig stuff anyway. So, but that's just my opinion because yeah. I'm kind of a coffee snob <laughs> is what they call me. But it was, it was awesome. It was plenty of room. The beds were super comfortable. Yes. I think the thing that I really liked though, was like after the long day in the park, our feet were just like, dying from yeah. walking everywhere and turning on the lights up on the ceiling those yes. led lights that are up in the ceiling yeah they're really like calming just like oh. you could dim it and it's just it gave, gave it that nice yeah like, vibe and we're like talking about things. the next day what we wanted to mm -hmm. do what what like our highs and lows from the day you know it's just kind of like just like have some family time in there yeah. it was just like super fun yeah but my favorite part is for sure the little balcony oh, man. and they say most rooms have a balcony so um, but it's so cool. We could overlook the monorail would go by and you have like like a little table and two chairs out there So I'd go out there and you know throughout the day if we'd had snacks or in the morning with coffee But yeah, I love that balcony. So in the grand they have like three different views they have like the uh the downtown Disney district like view mm -hmm. and they also have the courtyard view and then yeah. they have like the, the you know premium view which is like park, park. Mm -hmm. but the thing is about the, the Grand Hotel is I feel like no matter where you're at the view is still legit like yeah. you know what I mean it's not like you're getting like a parking lot like some of the some of the par uh, right. park hotels and because uh, it's, it's like super woody and mm -hmm. it's outside with like the trees, the trees like you're camping and, and so yeah. honestly like it just like it was cool like ultimately we would love to build a um, be on the downtown Disney side yeah, that one would be time. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. We definitely want to do like, um, you know, like the club level one time, like kind of experience that. But we had the courtyard view. Yeah. And so, like Lacey was saying, we were mm -hmm. able to watch the monorail go right through the courtyard mm -hmm. on our porch. Yeah. And it was so awesome yeah. to be able to like see that and drink coffee and just mm -hmm. see it rush through. There was time uh, we would come back from the pool and we'd have like a Mickey bar on the porch. Um, it was know. awesome, and right actually adjacent from our room, we could see um, a, a balcony terrace up there, which is actually the club level view. Mm -hmm. And it's cool because when you're up there, they're facing the park, and they can see the fireworks yeah. from there. So it's they call really it the, cool. the veranda. The veranda, that's, yep. that's level six, club level, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean the views have to be spectacular. We can't wait yeah. to see it with our own eyes. You can see pictures and videos, but yeah. it's different when you can see it with your own eyes. Mm -hmm. So we were able to see the veranda and they were able to see the park so. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but the, but we had the courtyard view which was still awesome so yeah it was just really nice being able to have like a porch like mm -hmm. i think that's really really nice we've stayed at the paradise pier hotel and we had an amazing park view yeah S amazing park view mm -hmm. however like you know you couldn't there wasn't a porch yeah and it's just nice because you know in the mornings or in the evenings you can go out on the porch and just get a nice breath of fresh air so speaking of balconies our room was on the fifth floor and when we exited and went around kind of by the elevators there's another really cool balcony that's open to anybody and it overlooks the pool mm -hmm. we actually went and got some of our snacks we're eating apple and <laughs> just apples, enjoying like, <laughs> enjoying the view after out a long, there after a long nap <laughs> right like it was, yeah it was amazing but it's nice because it was like there's a lot of space out there and there was mm -hmm. nobody there when no we were there. out there so the boys were able to run around but it was just fun just another area of the hotel just yeah. to enjoy and explore so i would recommend checking that out and not to mention like talking about views and balconies and verandas and stuff just simply you can actually look down into the lobby from like the mm -hmm. fifth floor or something like yeah. that and like I think there's just so many cool spots just to like people watch or right. to like get some air or whatever mm -hmm. I, I don't know it was just like really cool um, just the views anywhere you look in this hotel is just amazing okay so let's talk about the pool yeah. oh my gosh like talk about just options yeah. <laughs> there's there, you know you have like I've never seen a hotel that has so many pools and yeah. hot tubs yeah they had like three hot tubs yeah. right well I, th I think one of them was like not as hot yeah one of them was hot it was just like you know there's options like right uh and the boys loved it they mm -hmm. loved the slides they loved uh, just everything about it like i don't know it was just like i remember the first night we went we you know we decided to come in the park a little bit early and we uh just decided to go in the pool in the, in the less warm hot tub which is mm -hmm. a big warm pool whatever and it was just like something about being there with all the lights off you know it's dark mm -hmm. and all the lights in the pool I don't know it was just like and so had, like, the big trees surrounding oh, you it was perfect yes and let me just say their 
chairs to lay out on yep are so comfortable like so <laughs> amazing Crazy like the mattress thick. pads are like this thick like you just lay down and you're just like oh and well it's funny the because you. we came back from because usually we come back midday to kind of just get some rest we're like just kind of laying out by the pool and we kind of took turns on our naps uh so we had me Lacey and uh, Lacey's sister Cassidy and we we're like watching the boys and but Lacey took a nap I took a nap and Cassidy took a nap yes. all on those cushioned chairs seriously the best nap you will ever have ever by a pool yeah and then also like poolside with the craftsman's grill you can get like the pizza and the sodas and the mm -hmm. drinks and all that kind of stuff and they deliver right to where you're at they have little yeah. menus and everything and it's just like you don't have to leave your seat another thing i loved about the pool was just they had a lot of great areas for different age groups so they had a yeah. really cool water slide that i actually went on myself too <laughs> and landon did but then they have a small one for younger kids so one of our younger sons he like he would just doing loops like yep. over and over and over and just loved it and they do provide life jackets which is super nice too they just have everything they've got water out there for you and one thing i don't know why but justin loved it is you get a little wristband when we went and every day oh, yeah. they give you a new one and the boys were like collecting them yeah. with him so it was kind of fun just to show that you yeah. are you know you, you're resort. staying at the resort yeah. so that was kind of cool at least to us we yes. liked it you're kind of talking about pool and wet and all that kind of stuff Something we didn't experience because it was closed, but next time we hope is uh, Grizzly Rapids mm -hmm. is so close to the hotel. It is. And so just think about this, being able to go out to DCA, go ride the ride, come back in, dry up, and then go back in the park. Yeah. Like that's or, what's so cool about it. Heck, just keep your swimsuit on and go on, yeah, Grizzly Rapids. And then come back and swim. Yeah, and go back and swim because you're going to be wet from getting yeah. on that ride See, anyways. <laughs> it's just so cool. And I guess let's, let's talk about just like this for a moment just like being able to be so close to the park so yeah just kind of like transition to that and honestly like there was a time in when we we're in dca and i was like hey i'm just like really thirsty mm -hmm. um and i'm a little hungry and yeah. we have all these snacks and stuff and I, I just wanted to like i wanted to experience this it was that's all it was so i went back from dca back into the grand just to like go in use the restroom i think i changed my shirt or something mm -hmm. like that got a coke and uh snack and came out and just the fact of me being able to walk into just like AC because they pump the AC in that lobby. Mm -hmm. If you you know if you kind of sit in there just the lobby after a park day, yeah, it's refreshing. But just going back in, coming back out, I was gone for like five ten minutes and was able to get refreshed. Mm -hmm. And it's just something like, I mean, honestly, like think about it. Like usually you're walking all day, yeah, from the parks, and then like your feet are throbbing, mm -hmm. you know, and being that close is mind blowing yeah. to me. It is so cool and I think that's the reason why we loved it so much and we're big Disney cruisers and that's why we love Disney cruises cruises because your room is like right there with everything and that's how it kind of feels like with yeah, the, the grand because your room is just like yeah. you're in the park so it's just so convenient with anything you're just like okay I yep. forgot something I'll go back to my room yeah. it's not gonna take me you know 45 minutes or take a bus ride right <laughs> and then also like Disney, downtown Disney, like there was times when like in the morning I would go to the Starbucks, that's right in downtown Disney, mm -hmm. grab grab some drinks and come back up and it was just right there. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I just, that, I never got over that, mm -hmm. never got over that. Like we're leaving Disneyland, we're like, oh, we're right here, boop, go into our secret passage area, you know, to yeah. get back into the Grand and then DCA is even cooler because it's right in the park, but that mm -hmm. was, I mean, honestly, that right there is so worth it to us is just being smack dab right between the parks and it's so cool the day that we went to dca that morning we got to use our our special entrance through our hotel and it's so nice because you're not you know having to go through all the way downtown disney and you know enter through those gates but we're still in our hotel and they have just that entry takes us right there right by the grizzly rapids ride and it was so fast that was so like fast. so amazing and we were just kind of like baffled forever. Like we're already in here. We're in the park. <laughs> and Disney's entrance is really cool too because you can either take the monorail um, or you can just walk right, you know, up to the gate. Through and downtown Disney. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the thing is, is like the the walk is amazing because you you pass Starbucks. Yes. You grab your Starbucks <laughs> and you get right in the park. And so it was like right. a, it's like really fast. And like yep. whenever we left the park, for some reason in your mind, you just think, okay, we have another walk because mm -hmm. growing up we did good neighbor hotels. Um, and even with us, we did the you know Paradise Pier. And so it was kind of like a, a further walk. And yeah. so when we were like, Lacey's like, oh, we're here. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're already at our hotel. Yeah. And uh, it was, it's just, I don't know. It's really, really cool. I can't, mm -hmm. I just can't get, get over how we're 
right smack dab in the middle of the park. So let's talk about the spa for a little bit because it's even in their name, the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, because their spa is so amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, we didn't even have this planned, but we booked it while we were there. They happened to have a massage available. So I was and you're able- you pregnant? Yeah, and they had a prenatal massage. By the way, we just had our baby, yeah. so. <laughs> like. Yeah, so I was pregnant when we went there and it was amazing. They have this beautiful room that's called the relaxation room. You get a wait in until your, whatever your appointment is that you have. And it was so nice. And there's like little snacks they have for you and the amazing, amazing choices of water. And then they even had, um, like they came out and offered me a, a warm, neck pillow I think too. It was just, it was top notch. Locker room is really awesome and they have just like, you know, all the amenities in there that you need if you want to just shower and get ready and go out, you know, for your day if you want. They had, you know, the blow dryer and shampoo and everything so that was really nice. But the massage was amazing, like one of the best massages I've ever had. And it's nice because the spa is like just right out kind of by the pool deck. So when I came out, I was just able just to walk out to the pool yeah, she and looked meet like everybody. So and relaxed. I was very like, relaxed. So relaxed. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was it, honestly it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like if you cruise Disney, it's kind of like Disney cruise pricing. Yeah, I would say so, that. So mm -hmm. which is awesome because I was thinking like when I went in there to like their their gift shop and I'm kind of looking around, I'm like, wow, this candle is like eighty dollars. <laughs> like, how much is this massage, massage. going to be? You know, um, but it was super worth it um, to experience that. And mm -hmm. we didn't experience everything. I mean, like, yeah. there's so much to experience, and so we're just yeah. talking about the things that we experienced. Right. And again, we hope to go back to experience more. Yeah. But that was one thing that was really cool to it was. To see. But this hotel does offer so much things, and like Justin said, we didn't even experience. I feel like all of it. One thing we did check out though is. They do movies under the stars and they have a fireplace area. It's actually like a double fireplace so you can see it from the inside and then you go outside which I didn't know. I was confused when they said, oh, the movie's by the fireplace. I was so confused. I'm yeah. like, there's an outdoor fireplace? Uh, you're like, so. <laughs> the fireplace in the lobby, lobby. Which, by the way, can we talk about that for just for two seconds? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that fireplace is just amazing. After mm -hmm. a long day, like, because no matter what, I feel like if you go, like, towards the wintertime, it's going to be super cozy. But yeah. even if you went in the summer, because they blast the AC in there, <laughs> it feels so good. And so after yeah. a long day, just sitting in those recliner mm -hmm. or the uh, the rocking chairs. Yeah, by the like, fireplace. staring at the, the flame. Flames, yeah. just puts you in this like oh my goodness this mm -hmm. is so that we're in vacation we're on right. vacation <laughs> not to mention like we talked about the lobby I know we're gonna get back to the movie with the stars yes a movie under the stars mm -hmm. movie with the stars movie under the stars mm -hmm. but the lobby like we sat there because we wanted to experience just sitting down and people watch right yeah and again if you stay at the Grand Hotel encourage you to sit down on one of those chairs and spend at least 30 minutes and just look around yeah see the architect Listen to the piano. Listen to the piano. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, like that was a highlight, and I'm so glad we did that because you know when you're in Disney, you get really busy with all the other activities. Mm -hmm. But we want to make a point just to sit, listen, and just like take it all in. So now, right. let's go back. Back to the movie. <laughs> but it was really fun. So <laughs> we were actually, we were amateurs. We started setting up things on the grass because we thought the screen was that way. And they're like, actually, you come over by the fireplace. So we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so they had like chairs in there and it was really cool. You could bring snacks. And I think the movie that was playing was um, Soul. Yeah. So we watched Soul out there and it was really fun. Just really cozy and just a fun thing to do in the evening. You know, after you've been in the parks, you know, you just kind of want more of a quieter evening and it was super fun and we brought some blankets I think too the boys had some so it was really cool another thing definitely to check out is their gift shop because oh, yes. they have a lot of things in here that you will not see in the park and a lot of things that are specific to the grand we actually got this mug um, here that had like because we wanted to remember staying here but had like Chippendale on it and they got their oranges and so we found that there like the first day we're like for sure we're gonna bring this home yep, so we're one. excited <laughs> but it's such a cool gift shop and they've got um, just really neat things I think Lana got some goggles there because yeah. it's broke <laughs> yeah. so we were in there quite a bit well guys thank you so much for hanging out with us we hope you enjoyed this video again this is things that we experienced mm -hmm. and there's so much more to experience and we can't wait yeah. to go back to the grand to experience more mm -hmm. but if 
you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that. Again, Lacey was saying that we, you know, we, we live in Idaho. We love Disney. We have lifestyle vlogs as well, but we would love for you to come join our family. Uh, like this video if you liked it and ring that bell so you know when we have more videos. And we also have a Disney cruise coming up as well because mm -hmm. uh, we love the Disney life, mm -hmm. obviously. Anyway, we love you guys and we'll talk to you real soon. Okay. Bye.